Welcome to another episode of Fight the Burnout. This is a little half episode uh, for you. Now at Fight the Burnout, uh, we always like to talk about how we can bring more joy to people, how we can uh, bring more excitement to people's lives and more performance. Because uh, when you're burned out, you have no performance. Uh, when you have no performance, you don't, you're not as successful, you're not as happy, you're not as joyful. Uh, so uh, I was literally riding my motorcycle this morning uh, to go drop it off for a service. And I was thinking about a few things uh, on that, as well as on the drive back uh, after dropping my wife off at work. And I was thinking about, you know, what is this burnout? You know, and let's think about 2020 and it's either burn some people way out uh, in a lot of different ways because a lot of things have been dropped on and we'll talk about that in a second, or it's made them uh, less burned out and more chill. Uh, so first off, let's talk about really what is burnout. We've talked about it in previous episodes, but burnout, and everybody has their own interpretation of it, but the actual uh, thing that I was told back when I first was diagnosed with burnout uh, about five years ago, um, when I was still in the police, uh, which was one of the reasons I ended up leaving the police, was uh, symptoms of things like short-term memory loss, um, uh, short temper, uh, lack of sleep, um, uh, no like enthusiasm for anything uh and yeah that lack of passion as well as uh feeling tired all the time lethargic um and the list keeps going on but those are the main things and if you feel like you have some of those start looking at um you know what you can do to overcome it and the biggest thing that you can actually do is you can actually take some time for yourself, take some time to reflect, you know, talk to some people. Most people, when they get burned out, they, you know, regress back. They, they pull out of situations instead of throwing themselves into it, uh, or they'll throw themselves into situations, but they're very quiet. Uh, or, you know, they do the necessary things. What's necessary. So through what my recommendation is always talk, always talk, always talk. Find the things that you enjoy that light you up. You want the thing that lights your ass on fire. You know, for me, every time I ride a motorcycle. Also, it's the thing of remembering you're the gatekeeper of what you think about. Only you have the power of the thoughts in your head. You are the only one that has control of those. So, you know, the things that you want to do is you want to shift your beliefs. You want to shift what you're actually thinking and believing each day. And the easiest way to do that is actually to, to, start with little steps. So if you still find that you wake up in the morning and you have a negative mindset, find a positive. I was talking with my clients last night uh, in, our, in our mastermind and we we're talking about shifting negatives to positives again and the importance of it. And so many people going back to work this week uh, or just getting back into the, the grind of things, their, their mindset was, I'm gonna, I don't wanna go back to work, if I, it sucks. I don't enjoy it. You know, as I talked with them and as, I, as I'm talking to you as well, it's shifting those negatives into a mindset, shifting and going, okay, cool. What positivity can I bring to, to work? What is it that I want it to look like? How do I want to actually, you know, present myself to show up? How do I want to be there? How do I, what, who do I want to be? What do I, you know, what am I going to bring to the table to be this new person to actually enjoy this life? And actually enjoy this job because I'm there. So what am I going to do to actually create this future, to create this enjoyment, to create less burnout, so I actually perform better? Uh, big thing is, as well as you know, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, is figure out and focus, focus on the things that you do enjoy about your job, not the things that you don't, because it's real easy to find the things that you don't, because everybody's telling you as well the things that suck about work. You know, everybody says work sucks because you can't get to go do whatever you want. So find and focus on the things that you do enjoy doing because those are the things that you will want to do as well because you enjoy them. So these are a few things, you know, the few other things is, you know, on your days off or even after work, before work, to go do stuff that you enjoy. Bring excitement and focus on it in an exciting way. You know, for me, for example, um, during last year, um, you know, I, I took up a second job uh, doing security work. 
And my biggest thing was, okay, cool. You know, I'm doing 12 hour days. I've got to create some sort of joy on the way there and then come home and I do my, and I do my training. Um, you know, we were locked down. So I was having to do it in the, in, in the stairwell of our building, but on the way there and even on the way home, I was like, I get to ride my motorcycle every day. Riding my motorcycle lights me up. It makes me, it brings enjoyment and passion to me. Now, some people that I know that ride motorcycles like, but you're just riding straight on the motorway. I was like, yeah, but I'm focusing on the thing that brings me joy of that journey. Not the fact that I'm doing a straight line, the fact that I have freedom, that I'm on my motorcycle, that I'm enjoying myself and that I'm focused. I'm All I focus on is the fact that I get to ride my two wheels and have a bit of fun. I don't care if it's in a straight line. I don't care if it's in the twisties. I get to ride my motorcycle. And don't get me wrong. I love, love, love doing twisty roads. It brings a new skill, a new challenge to it. But this fact of just being on there and being free and having the wind blowing on my body and having myself laser focused on what I'm doing in that moment, it's a form of meditation for me. So what, you know, you got to find those things for yourself as well. Find what it is that lights you up every single day and focus on it. This is why people, you know, people go, oh, I hate my car. I go, okay, cool. Well, what is it that you did love about it when you first bought it? And then when they're in their drive, I go, sweet, cool. Focus on that. Focus on the fact that it's got a good, it's got a spe good, good speaker system. And some people are like, oh, but it's just a car. Yeah, but you're spending an hour, a half hour every day commuting in it. Okay, cool. Focus on the things that you do enjoy about it the color of it, you know, how it rides, how comfortable the seat is. Because at the end of the day, you, you know, you got to focus on the little positive things. This is how you can counter burnout. You can shift it and change it. You know, if you are, or if you're fighting for something, some sort of goal, or like last year, many people's fitness dreams, their competitions were canceled. My thing is, is don't focus on the fact that they were canceled. Focus on the fact that it's just giving you more time to prepare. And yes, I know how much struggle it takes to prepare for a competition, especially when they get canceled only a few weeks after the comp, but go, okay, sweet. Obviously I wasn't meant to be at that competition. Let's prepare for the next one even more. So the same thing goes for you right now, for all of you, anybody who's listening to this, you know, just focus on the little things. Little things are the most important each day. Shift those beliefs, Ask yourself the, you know, the good questions, not negative questions. And if you really, really want to dig deep into it, you shift your values. Make sure you focus on the correct values and the rules around those values. And if you're needing any assistance with this, you reach out to us at Chris at knockingdemonfitness.co.nz. That's Chris at knockingdemonfitness.co.nz. And we'll, 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 work, we'll work out and we'll get you, we'll get you out of this burnout. Because burnout is no fun for yourself, for your family, for your friends, uh, for your, your colleagues. Uh, because one, one, one little dark seed in a, in a group of lots of people can spread until one person decides, no, nah, I'm not going to be a part of that and I'm going to become light. And that, then that starts to spread. So we want to counter burnout. We want to change it. Use these tools. Re-listen to this episode over and over and over and lock it in with yourself. Uh, and until next time, um, we love you. Train that mind hard so that when you're tested, it's easy because we get tested every single day and we want it to, we want life to be great. Remember, like, subscribe, uh, do all the, all the necessary things. Make sure you tick that notification box so every time an episode's dropped, you get a notification. Uh, and we love you. Get out there, have a great 2021. And let's make this year the year that you want it to be, not the year that your mind has been letting last year be. Love you. Talk soon. Another episode of Fight the Burnout. All done.